Hello there. We're in body Scotland, yes, for the Tide Wave Classic 2018. The sun is shining. The forecast is looking great. We've got a record turnout with uh, over 80 competitors. Full fleet in the women. We've got the juniors. We've got the masters, the ams, and the pro fleet is looking pretty packed. We've even got a few uh, foreigners uh, turned up. Uh, it's day one, like I said. Behind me, you can see, I don't think we're going to get action today but we have had a few people going out for a bit of float and ride uh, but the forecast for the rest of the week is looking epic cats are prowling on their feet springs a girl in the street at we night. kicked off this morning down at Got Bay with the youth and juniors. Uh, a lot of the pro guys were down there giving tips and tricks, rigging tips uh, and getting the juniors out on the water. It was going off. Oh, we stuck off early to Ballon There was a little wave coming in. Uh, Ross was one of the first guys out in the water. Then me and Mark sort of followed him. And there was a couple of nice waves, you know, 5053 5 weather, float and ride. Uh, even Mark got a tasty little goiter. So there was a few waves coming on. There was a few people running around. But in the end, it wasn't good enough for official competition. I'm gonna make me a good sharp axe. Shining steel, temper in the fire, will chop you down like an old dead tree. It's a dirty old turn. It's a dirty old turn. It's but a dirty old there is a massive but tomorrow. The it's forecast is on terrific Tuesday as it's been called is going to go on and the Tyree Wave Classic is going to kick off in proper style. Day three at the Tyree Wave Classic and we're here. I was going to say bright and early, but it's dark and early. I can't even see the beach. There is wind, there is waves. Everyone is hiding in my van at the moment. We're just working out what sail to go on. This is, this is real windsurfing, this is. None of this Maui board short top off shit. We're like it pitch black, <laughs> windy, rainy, and bloody cold. I don't know what to rig. I really wish we could see. Hi. Morning. Um, they haven't actually been around to the beach? No, <laughs> too far. Do you think it's four hours? <laughs> <laughs> You've gone for it. Go for it, it's a great luck. Bastard. Another van. Oh man, we're getting left behind. It's sweet, Harry. It's a thing as well for the day, it's what the forecast is telling us. Um, yeah, it's pretty fresh. It's an early morning for you. It's raining a lot. It's very, very windy. Alfie Hart and I have just come around the, the uh, sort of the rocky headland over there, uh, and it's bloody windy out there. So we just literally did a downwinder to get down here. So you never know, it might be a completely different day this afternoon, and we'll be loving life. But right now, it's pretty extreme. Okay, someone's turned the lights on and we can see what we've got. 3.7, I was fully stacked, so we have loads of wind, we have loads of waves. We've already busted through a few heats in the pro uh, single elimination. Big shock, Scotty McDowell took down the current tour leader, Andy Bobble Chambers. He's on a roll! How are you doing, Scotty? Uh, not bad, thanks. Not bad. Your 
the giant killer. I mean, it seems like it, but lucky heat, lucky heat. Is there Bubble talking to you? Yeah, he's still talking, but we're in the same house, so. <laughs> So he's through to the next round with a certain Mr. Profit. Uh, in the next seat, we had uh, Phil Horrocks going through with uh, local boy Mike, now Mike Archer. Uh, the bottom end of the draw was hotly contested. I think we had Ross Williams and Dave Horrocks, and then we had a full, almost final, like, I mean, the energy was going off. It was Mark Parry and Adam Lewis who were just on fire. So down that bottom end, looked pretty loaded at the top end. It's still pretty loaded. It's going to be an interesting day. We've got all the arms, all the masters, the ladies are out. Woo! There has just been a massive upset. Mark Paré is out. He just did an angry, dry double now. He's not happy, but he's not in the competition. Ross Williams won the heat. Adam Lewis in second place. So Ross Williams causing all the upsets. It is going on. We're on with the AMs and the Masters and the ladies all mixed in. So there's still a bit of time before that pro final, but it's going to go off. Conditions, really good fun, especially good fun sailing with the rest of the guys in the Masters. And Ross and Adam in the final, also in the final, uh, a certain Mr. Profit and uh, a certain Mr. Horrocks. So that is the four man pros final. Very worthy second place, Ben Prophet. You just dominated the old guard, haven't you? You just demonstrated that you're here now. Well, yeah, I mean, it's nice because I think probably all three of those guys have done me at various points over the years, so it's a little bit of, well, Still to play for, isn't it? So we'll have to see. Wait and see. We started off in the dark and the pouring rain. Everyone's scrambling around. Uh, it's all underway now. Um, it's pretty wild for the amateurs. Uh, yeah, I guess they ought to keep an eye on some. But some of the pros have been already going off. So I'm just concentrating on staying dry at the moment. Who did it? 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 So there we go, results in. It was a tightly fought battle in that amateur fleet. Uh, fourth place, only 15 years old, does amazing to get fourth, it was Rory, uh, the Scottish lad, uh, and also the Scottish contingent was going strong in third place, the fisherman, Stuart Cowlin, looking really good in third. And then we had a foreigner, the Portuguese Miguel, flew all the way over here for this. He must have thought, what was going on today? It was a bit nippy, but he riding away really well and managed to get second place. But up at the top, it was Luke Rastrick, uh, looking really good, had some nice forwards on him today. Uh, he was getting a bit angry at some points, I think, but it wasn't going his way. But in the end, uh, taking first place in the single elimination. 
Pretty chuffed to win that one again. Yeah, yeah, I was really surprised. I mean, I only just scraped through the first two heats and then the last two I managed to win, so it's always good. in the Masters and there's one man who's been gunning for that first place. More about him in a minute. In fourth place though, it was Tim Laws. He had a really good result in Christchurch where he won that free wave session. Uh, and he didn't have a good final here, but he'll take that in the final fourth place. In third place, it was our press officer for the BWA, Mark Dowser, looking uh, solid in third. for that top spot between the Cornish Ripper that is Pasty and John McLawrence. And it was John finally got the win. He's been gunning for that for years. And I saw him earlier, he was giving it the old fist pump. So uh, good to see Johnny at the top. So only the single elimination mine. Yeah, first time I've won it in three, in three attempts, so I'm really happy. In second place, <laughs> we passed the Harvey. Oh, yeah. 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 And well done to John McLaurin, winner of that division. In the winning, we had a really great turnout here in Tyree. A single elimination final, though, in fourth place. Debbie Kennedy didn't quite have her best final, uh, so she has to settle for fourth place. A good uh, showing though from the new girl, Rosemary Smith, in third place. And then it was the battle of the two Sarahs, second and first, between Sarah Kellett and Sarah Hilda. Who was it? Second place. It was pretty interesting the final. Um, it was quite light on 3 4, and the waves were sort of getting up to logo to mast high in the sets, and, and it was high tide with the rocks as well. So um, I played it tactically quite safe actually, um, which seems to have paid off. So there you go, Adam Lewis, one hand on the sword. Me in second, third place, uh, Phil Horrocks and Ross Williams did now have his best final down in fourth place. We're going straight into the men's pro double and women's pro double. There's a few guys that are looking keen. Mark Paré looks pumped. Andy Bobble Chambers, current tour leader, looks pumped. Let's go. double and we're already into that four-man heat that goes on to see who will fight against the top seed. Uh, we've got Mark Paré still in Andy Bobble Chambers on the fight back. We've got James Cox and we got the Aussie. Half price! <laughs>
starting today with uh, the 360, with the front side 360. <laughs> and I saw that white water 360, I saw that near the judges. <laughs> We're waiting for the pro men winners to be announced, but we do know the pro women double announcement, and that is Sarah Bibby takes the win ahead of Sarah Kelly. Second place, Sarah Kelly. Congratulations, Thank well done. Very good. And in first place, very well deserving, Sarah Hilda. Wave Classic 2018. We smashed it out in a day. We didn't even need a week. Dark till dark. What a day it was though. What a day. Some great conditions, some great crashes uh, and a great event all in all. Uh, so congratulations to all the winners. Uh, the Spanish man has his name on the sword. Will he be back next year? Not if I've got anything to do with it. He ain't coming in the van. That's for sure. Uh, but stay tuned. is coming up and the forecast at the moment looks like wind from the right yes yeah, starboard tack it looks like it will be another classic and we will get a discard that means there's a few guys in the running for the overall titles and obviously the ams the masters the ladies and youth will all be up for grabs that will be their second event and it's going to come all the way down to the wire so join us in cornwall and stay tuned to windsurfing.tv